show you guys what's what. What's what, bro? What's what with your Harlem Shake, bro? What's up, Skyler? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's what? What is what? <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to Smash Bit Weekly! Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm Mari and Boyd, and we have a fun show in store for you! This week we'll be talking about Nintendo, cute puppies, Starbucks, and Stranger Things, but first, this! What's good, everybody? It's your boy Keith Lee Jr., and I'm here to talk to you about celebrity Halloween costumes. Okay, so this year I dressed up like Michael Jackson and got to go to the famous Jackson Estate. Now, if you know anything about me, you know this was a dream come true of mine. Now, while I was looking fresh and doing my thing on the dance floor like it was 1979, celebrities were out there trying their best, or at least I think they were. Okay, okay, I'll level with you. I haven't seen any of these pictures, but my friends here at Smosh Pitch Weekly think I might have something to say. So bring it on! <laughs> I think he was at the Jackson party. The, uh, the from Nightmare Before Christmas dude. I never remember his name. I, my mom used to call him Bone Daddy when I was growing up. That's Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington, yes, that's his name. Do you know who that is? No, he was at the Jackson party, I'm pretty sure. That's Channing Tatum! Oh, he was definitely not at the Jackson party. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. This is Michael Jackson. Heidi Klum gets best, like, best dress for Halloween, and she usually does. I'm gonna have to get this to Hi uh, Heidi. Uh, where's Seal? Is that Gwyneth Paltrow in a box? Yeah. No, I don't get it. Out of the box? Like, in the box? What's, What's in the, the box? box? What? Oh God, good Lord, this is scary. Guess who it is, it's a Guess basketball it player. It's LeBron James. It is! Oh, Ohio, Ohio! <laughs> <laughs> who is this? <laughs> the two girls, like is this from The uh, the Shining? Yep. The Shining? Oh my God, I got that right. Ooh, dresses are nice. I Who's like those. Oh no. Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis? That's Bruce Willis? <laughs> Bruce Willis is old? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are these boobs real? These boobs, uh, these ch these bellies. <laughs> Colton Haynes is definitely the winner of Halloween this year. I'm gonna follow Colton Haynes because of this picture now. <laughs> Stranger Things season two is finally here and boy oh boy, I can't wait to sit down, start it up and ha, just kidding. I just blew through it in one sitting surrounded by my cats and a bunch of loose Eggo waffles and just maple syrup everywhere. Now I will say that while the season did live up to the hype, we now have to wait a whole year until we get to scratch that 1980s sci-fi itch. So to keep us preoccupied until season three, here is Damien Haas' top five ways to keep Stranger Things alive for the next calendar year while keeping your fingers crossed that the show keeps getting better list. <laughs> Number one, have a two week long Dungeons and Dragons campaign with the indoor kids from your neighborhood. It's not weird. It's nostalgic. Number two, hang out with your friends in the Upside Down. And by that, I mean literally hang upside down with your friends and see who can get the longest record and the reddest. It's medically safe, we think. Number three, befriend your local drunk sheriff and go on adventures. Anything could happen. He's unpredictable and he has a gun. Number four, fake your own death and drive your mom to the point of insanity. When she finds out you're still alive, she'll appreciate you so much. Oh, hello, no chores forever. And number five, recruit a bunch of adolescents from the neighborhood and start a bike gang. Go out and hit some sweet jumps and terrorize the neighborhood. Literally anything could be a jump. Wait, what's that over there? The drunk sheriff passed out at a weird angle against those boxes. <laughs> Looks like a sweet jump. And speaking of kids on bikes, check out the kids on bike sketch over on the Smosh main channel. We got a link in the description. <laughs> When it comes to holiday coffee cups, Starbucks seems to get the short end of the cinnamon stick every year. Someone's always pissed off or threatening to boycott the chain because of what they believe in or the colors they like aren't properly represented on a piece of paper that ends up in a landfill or in a dirty Nashville street corner filled with loose change for some hipster jam band. Well, this year, Starbucks said, screw it, and they're letting you fill in whatever colors you want. Yep, DIY holiday cups. It's a coloring book you can drink from. Cool. Starting this week, you can take in the holidays the way you want to, and to demonstrate, we're gonna have a speed drawing contest on these cups. We have two minutes to draw each other. Let's go. Five, four, three, one, two. What the one. hell? Go. You guys know I cheat. I'm drawing everything but your face because I'm afraid to go to your face. What? <laughs> She's calling me ugly. <laughs> you called me ugly like two times, and Mario, I'm about to make you so beautiful right now. You don't even know. <laughs> What's Four, something that you say? Three, uh, stay black. Two, oh. One, time up! Pencils down! <laughs> okay, that was two minutes. Uh, was that enough time? Uh, we'll I see. think so, for me, for me. Well, uh, Keith, 
I don't know why, but now you're saying it's oi, stay black. It's oi? <laughs> I didn't know what you said until you said stay black, so I said oi, oi first. Oi, stay, that works for me. Oi, stay black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, I didn't like write a saying or anything, but I wrote your name and this is you. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, these are actually hey, both really good. You got a thin face. I don't know why you're, what? why did you make what? me so fat? You know what? Space is dope. You know what else is dope? Women. And when you put the two of them together, damn. Women in space. Lady astronauts, hell to the yeah. That's the dopest. You know who else thinks so? Lego. Check it. They recently released the Women of NASA set, and not only is it a pretty rad thing to add to your collection, it hammers home the importance of women in the US space program who have historically struggled to earn credit for playing huge roles in their field of you ladies. We've got a link in the description so you you too can support these pioneers of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm-hmm, scam. Unless you've been living under a rock without Wi-Fi, you've most likely noticed that the news is pretty terrible. The whole world seems to be a hurricane of violence and misconduct, with the wake of destruction being sadness and broken dreams. But here at Smosh Pit Weekly, we want to bring the positivity and bring something sweet into the world for you at home. So here are our friends reacting to a cute, cute video. So cute. Oh, I want to talk. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my God, this is this is great. Oh, is he is that a is he lost? Does he know where he is? Is, is he so being cute. tormented or is this cute? I can't tell. The, the little puppy in the bathtub. There's no water in it. You think it's? Is that a corgi? Oh. It's a corgi. These are like the unicorn of dogs. Does he not like the bath? Look at how short his legs are and how big his body is. Is he thirsty? We need to get him. Where does this dog live? He's in there trying to get water. <laughs> Oh, this is a weird looking cat. Dog videos will change the world. Holy crap, that was cute. Let us know who had the cutest reaction in the comments down below. The much anticipated Super Mario Odyssey dropped this week and it is killing. The platformer we all know and love is transformed into an open-ended 3D sandbox platform hybrid and has got people raving. Perfect scores from Polygon, IGN, Edge Magazine, and even the heavy-footed neckbeard neighbor that lives upstairs. Shut up, Gary, we're filming. I love Mario. It's top Breath of the Wild for most popular Switch game of the year and is the fastest selling Mario game ever ever. Between the release of the Switch, Breath of the Wild, and now Odyssey, can we all just agree that Nintendo is absolutely crushing 2017? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, that's it for this week, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Here are your questions of the week. Leave your answers down below. And happy birthday this week to Joanne, Infinite Walkers, Leah, Sky, Hannah, Melissa, Jimmy, Shelby, and Jenna. And Mari, happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Mari! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm 12. I'm not. I'm 22. That sounds nice. I'm 22. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you next Saturday. Mata